tell you about my baby. You know she comes around here. Yeah. Just about five feet four. From her head down to the ground. You know she comes around here. Yeah. Just about midnight. She makes me feel pretty good, y'all. She makes me feel all right. And her name is G L O R. Disappointing. I'd like to settle up, please. Sorry. One night only, I'm afraid. Change of plan. No one help me. She comes around here. Just about midnight. She makes me feel so good. I tell you, she makes me feel all right. I come walking down my street. What's come to my house? She knocks up on my door, and then she comes to my room, and I should make her feel alright. Chicken, you bring me freaking woodpecker? It's so good. It's all right. 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 It's all I said, I've got to sniff a guy, OK? And it makes her look like she's got five chins. He said, that's no what use time? for me. He said, die yeah. star... All right, hold up, hold up, you're state. breaking up. Multiple chins, no. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, all right. Hi. Okay. Hello, girls. Yeah, Steve, listen, I'm grabbing a bite and I'm on my way. So where were you just now? You know, Gloria, what's the name on her performing breasts? I've passed, yeah, I'll be there. They rather passed me by, I'm afraid. Lillian. Blimey. <laughs> She's special. And so she is. Why don't I ever get a plate like that, Lillian? Uh, Two coffees, please. Uh, little cherub. Little cherub, bacon. Give us one. Right. Here, is there any new people this week? Ten pounds says you've never heard of her. You're wrong. Sure, I heard of Princess Di. I'll leave him alone. Everybody heard of Princess Di. Yeah? Yeah. So who is she? Princess Di? Yeah. She's an actress. <laughs> Somehow. Receptive and truthful answer. Bollocks. It's the easiest telling I've earned. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, lads. Take a look at this dick. Tell me or I'll disembowel you. Oh. Come on. What did he show the gorilla at the door? He sailed past me straight in. Room key. You booked a room? How much did I say you back? 300 quid? 
She's actually got very nice eyes. <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, you remember the time when he got Sir Robert Thingy in a Thai sandwich with two hookers on a plane. How the hell did you get that? Do you know? I really, oh, really can't remember. Can't remember. Yeah. 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 Right. Hey, forget the coffee. Ooh, Lillian. Don't you touch what you can't afford. Come back, partners. Chuck an old time at Langan's. Okay. Uh. Uh, hang on a minute, fellas. While we were out, Mackenzie. Yes. Lionel rang and he said. What? Lionel rang and he say. He say Tony Cambona is eating his pudding at. Uh... Eating his pudding where? Langan's? Tram. San Lorenzo. How many syllables? Has he got two syllables, Mackenzie? Mackenzie, this is no good for my health. String fellows. Joe Allen. Ah! Joe Allen. Stringy fellows. Are you coming or what? I've got an appointment. It's Cambona Ricky's up to trot. First cap today, there'll be a big crowd there tonight. Think of it as a challenge. He hates me. I know. That's the challenge. Fart in a phone box waiting to take a picture of me. Whatever you say, Tony. Screw you, Rick. I have a headache. Oi. Oi, come back here. Come back here and take my picture. Oi, Rick. Come back and take my picture. I'm in a rush. Rick, do you get me those snaps of what's his name? Mr. Ball Control. Black, gorgeous tone. No, sorry. Well, the boy didn't show or you didn't get the snap. Which part of in a rush don't you understand? Yes, well, Mungo here got him, didn't you, pet? It's a sad day for England when we have to rely on a complete burk like Mungo to get the job done. No offence. Hearing us, love, are we? Hearing you, Lionel. Yes, well, why don't we get ourselves down to Hon Park Garden for Sadie Prince's birthday party? Lovely girl, big new movie, lots to celebrate. Immediate family and close friends only. Yourself, by whatever means. See you later, Mark. Gus is on the job, but he'll make a cock of it. This requires the cocker finesse, Rick. This requires class. Still here? Still here. I'm always still here.
Get that scumbag out of here! It's okay, it's okay, folks. Everything's fine. We're having a party. Enjoy. We're having a great time. <laughs> See? Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna, um... Sure. I can be happy But feeling so blue All because of you When things go wrong So wrong for you, baby It hurts me too Still got a pick up I just can't stand But lying woman and that evil man When things go wrong So wrong for you, my baby It hurts me too Oh, yes, it do Yours all busy, is it? Um, I, I beg your pardon? I think you'll find you're in the wrong place. Uh, you're standing in the ladies' room at uh, my private party and you're telling me I'm in the wrong place? He's got one leg. That's a woman in a skirt. It's a man with one leg, look. Who are you? Not a skirt, it's a kill. My name's Prince. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Richard. Rick. <laughs> You're press. Everything okay in here, Sadie? Fine. Who's this? Marjorie, this is... This is Richard. Richard Rick? You remember Richard. Sure. Marjorie. I'm glad to see you're over that trouble. <laughs> trouble? You look wonderful, really. You guys obviously have stuff to discuss. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, give me a quick touch. Would you like me? Dennis! Sure. Dennis! What do you think you're going to do with that? I'm going to take your portrait. <laughs> My portrait? Our vocabulary is a little pretentious for a paparazzo, Richard. Suit, clean hair, good shoes. Not the standard kit, granted, but, uh... Your paparazzo, all right. Shoot your damn roll and get out of here. I'm going to take one photograph. It'll be the best picture of yourself you ever saw. Then you'll never see me again. Do I have your permission? My permission? What if I say no? Well, then I don't have it. And you just leave? I don't believe you. Well, that's your prerogative. No. Yes. I changed your mind. That's also my prerogative. Face the door. Okay. I said I'd take your portrait, not a pose. What? Hey, no! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, 
Rick, long time no speak. How are you? Good to see you. Remember me? Yeah, sure I do. So who am I? Listen, friend, I'm Sadie's manager. I've never seen you before. Don't irritate me. I can get ugly. He's here already. Frisk him. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. It's worth the extra effort. Careful. Nothing. Goodbye, Rick. Lovely party. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 I'm sorry, I've got to hold up. Where's the plan tomorrow? Chicago. I'm sorry. Cheers. I thought you were great. <laughs> Excellent. No, really. Hey, what's going on? Hey, that's hot stuff. You really like it? Yeah, it's really good. Mmm, mmm. I'm really disappointed. I have the entire movie industry of this crummy little country turn up at a party for you, and you won't dance. I danced. Yeah, once. Once is nothing. People want to see you move. I danced. I, I smiled my ass off. What more do you want? Instead, you hide in the bathroom with some jerk. Yes, that's right. Will you not do that, please, when I am talking to you? Dennis! Let go of my wrist, Danny. Severely disappointed.
So where is it? Marjorie? Where's the money punch? Oh, she waxed the guy. Her fist goes right in there. I mean, where the hell is it? She waxed the guy. I mean, whack! His face goes purple. Sure. It's PG, Dennis. What? In this country, the movie's rated PG. Look, I know the certificate of my own goddamn picture. But that means it has to be whooped. Look, Angel of Vengeance is a movie about righteous violence. It is about bad guys getting whacked and their faces turning purple, Marjorie. Am I making myself clear? These guys pussy your foot around with the edit one more time. Do it. Thank you. Gonna be a smash, Sadie. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Total smash. I don't give a damn. Sweetie, this serves no constructive purpose. This attitude. It's not attitude, it's fact. The pictures stink. Look, martial arts movies are uh, a stepping stone. Okay, yes, there was a stone we happen to have been on for a little while now, but I have scripts coming in. Uh, you know, I really hate this kind of conversation. What kind of conversation? The kind where you're talking and I'm listening. Ah, Sadie, come on. Let's just drop it, please. Look, you know and I know that these moronic fighting movies make big-time cash for you and me and Marjorie and whoever the hell, <laughs> right? The industry that I support, Sadie Meal Ticket. Let's not pretend I can act. I can act. My voice is dubbed. God, I don't even want to act. You know what I want to do. You can act, Sadie. I beat up on people, Daddy. Period. It's something I learned from you. Sadie. Richard Cocker, 36 Kingwood Road, London, E10. Guilty. Well, this must be yours. Thank you. I don't understand. Why don't you understand? Well, Sadie Prince rigorously practices her combat skills from 5 in the morning until noon every day without fail, wherever she may be. It says so in the paper. Well, it's 10 to 12. I must be just about finished. Well, I expect you'd like a cup of tea after all that exertion. Oh my God. Did somebody trash your apartment? I don't think so. You want sugar? Uh, do you have herb tea? Clean out of herbs, I'm afraid. Hey, what's this called? Lady with the gross butt? Sadie. It was really good of you to take my camera. It was even better of you to bring it back. You're a sport. Know what I'd say you were? What? A sport. Well, that's nice. Do you have a dark room here? You know, dark room, place where photographers develop pictures. Yeah, I've got a dark room. I don't like to work like this. Oh, come on, get the broom handles out of your ass. Beg your pardon? You're being so British. Only wanted to see the picture that you took. You should be flattered. Hey, that's great. Yes, it's all right for a brick with a bottle full of domestic appliances. <laughs> well, hey, come on, let me see it. Wow, that is such a good picture. Yeah, so what are these? What? You used up the film. What are you talking about? Well, this was a new row. I took one exposure. No. You used up the rest of the film. All no. these, look. No, I didn't. I never touched the camera. 
weird. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a girl in bed asleep. Richard, you deviant. No, I'm not the deviant, Sadie. The girl is you. Honey? Don't be mad at me. Come on, let's talk. Come on, sweetheart. Sadie? There was one guy. He didn't just dog around watching me. He was living, actually living under the floor in my, my room, staring up at my bed through the cracks in the floorboards for months. Who told you this? Did you see him? I didn't see him. My people dealt with it. Could it be the same bloke? No. My, my people deal with the guy. He stays dealt. <sighs> yeah. Get my quota of freaks. This is completely disgusting. Four sugars. Good for shock. So who has access, Sadie, to your room? The police are on a list. I'm not telling the police about this. A guy gets into your room in the middle of the night and takes photos of you in your sleep, and you don't want to tell the police? I don't want to think about it. What? Well, how to deal with psychotic obsession? You don't think about it? That and a seventh and black belt and Wing Chun. Yeah. So why aren't you taking pictures of me now? My distress. It's your job, isn't it? Yeah, well, I don't work during the day. Not normally conscious during the day. Don't like daylight. <laughs> Vampire. I gotta go. Anyway, you gotta hand in your homework. Yeah, look. I'll take this into the agency, and I'll be straight back. You stay here, OK? I'll be half an hour, Max. You sure you'll be okay? Me and the lady with the gross butt? Sure. We'll be fine. Appetite, Rick. That's the thing. Now, our it's boy Campona fine. drinks like an absolute bitch. <laughs> What's that all about? Premier League professional going out and getting slaughtered a weekday. Can't be right, you know. Now, Pictures of Tony Kay pissed out of his box, projectile chundering on innocent bystanders. That's what we want. Frumble. What's the uh, story on Sadie No Knickers then? Any treasures to unload at my fragrant feet? Ah. My God, Richard. Mm. I want incendiary, and you bring me thermonuclear. And he is. Oh, proles and flame to hysteria, riot and spontaneous fornication on the streets. Love it. Love it. I'll be in touch. Father's completely barking, you know. He's done time. Is that a fact, Lionel, or something you've heard? Fact. GBH, or the Yank equivalent. He attacks some poor loon for presuming to look at his daughter in a disrespectful way. All frightfully New York. Now, that'd be a picture, Richard. Big rough and tumble punch up featuring little Miss Sadie Kung Fu versus the psycho daddy from hell. <laughs> By years of torture, escape trauma. Where are you off to? Get me Cambona. Is there a note? Look for a note. He says none of the staff saw Sadie leave. Who's this idiot? I'm the manager, sir. My daughter has gone missing in your hotel. You find her, okay? Or you spend the rest of your life sucking mush through a tube. The bathroom window. What? The bathroom window was open. Look, Sadie is a little upset. Now, I am very, very concerned she might do something theatrical. A 
Sadie. Sadie. If you want to go to sleep, go home. And if you want to go home, get another job. Telephone's ringing. Too slow. Yeah? You're talking to him. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Bring forth new images of Sadie Prince, they cry. Let me see what I can do. Stay tuned. What are you dribbling on about? Food combining. I'm combining curry with chips, OK? Do you want to fight about it? It's death. You get to 40, you'll have a corona. Look at Teddy. He's 45. There you are, then. Oh. I'm glad they liked it, Lionel. A bad for you, those, Terry. Mm. Can I have a cup of tea, please, William? I had a curry last night. This morning. <sighs> yeah. My bum was like the map in Bonanza. Yeah, OK. That's not just a curry, mung. That's the job. That stress. It was complete bollocks of the framing, but there you go. One day I'm going to pack all this and then get a proper job. Working in the shoe shop or something. No, another Sadie Snap's unlikely, I'm afraid. She's gone to the ground. He said that he's going to pack it in. I heard what he said. I'm not deaf. Well, who's deaf? I'm not deaf. You're not deaf. You're an imbecile, but you're not deaf. Hey? Yeah, well, you know me, Lionel. I'll try anything. All right, has anyone seen her? Any word on Sadie Prince? Prince? Oh, God, here we go. She go for a jogging in Heidi Park. Somebody phone. Who is jogging in Heidi Park? Just concentrate, Mackenzie, please. Sadie Prince. In the middle of the night. Well, she is American. Surprised? No, not really. You followed me here. You saw me? Oh, damn. No, I didn't need to see you. I recognize your mark. Jogging in the middle of the night for the same. Well, I had to do something that would capture the paparazzi imagination, and I was right. Anyway, I had to see you alone. I'm sorry I ran, but, um, Somebody called on the phone. Who? I don't know. What would they say? Nothing. They just, you know, breathed. Excuse me. Please. Are you Sadie the Prince? My name is Martha Krutzfeld. Oh. And you wonder that I'm weird. You'd like a cup of tea? In this country, never again, but thanks. Breathe. Yeah, just breathe. Well, if they found you there, they'll find you here. Come on, up. Where am I going? You're going to see a man about a hole in the ground. Thanks a lot. You with him? Sorry? Uh, yeah, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> Don't let him sing. Fiasco, is that the word I'm looking for? It'll do. Total bloody fiasco. Mackenzie? Yes, boys. Next time you get an anonymous tip-off about Sadie Prince, keep it yourself. Good lad. 
Sadie Prince? E. Rays. She was here. Longy hair, tighty trousers that go. Sadie Prince, sure. While you're away, she was here. I don't recognize anybody. Well, people tend not to get recognized here. That's why we came. Only people who never get recognized think it's hell to be recognized. Oh, yeah? Listen, Richard. I was frightened by the fact that some creep got into my room, all right? And you distracted me from that. You've been a real pleasant interlude. Don't spoil it. So, uh, did you really get up there and sing? Are you a good singer? Well, what do I know? I'm an interlude. Oh. But I was drunk. The mood was upon me. Steve is very tolerant. The incident is closed. My mother used to sing in a place like this. Like this, but with, uh, whores included in the cover charge. Really? Really. You think you've got me taped, right? Not too bright American kid who's fallen into movies. I have history. I have frustrated talent. Do you believe me? Yeah. Liar. Where are you going? Do you guys want to your love so bad? Uh, yeah, we've got <laughs> Squeeze then on one. Or what? That seat's taken. Oh! Sorry, darling. She's a... I need a dead ringer for that, uh... Sadie Prince. Yeah. But a better bum. I'll tell you what's odd. I need some people employed by me are forever on the blood of people who employ you, mine. saying, Get caught gonna take a picture of that Tony. You need someone to stand up and tell me. Why? What's the matter? Tell me. I'm not a bloody I'm big enough star for you. And when the lights are low, and not your squeeze then. Shame. I need Maybe you're not forceful enough. Your love. Oi! <laughs> Tony, you're pissed, all right? Happy so so. Steve, this is Tony. I like this tune, Tony. I'm happy for you. Bring it By which home I mean, me. shut up. Oh! Oops! Oh, Write I it. seem to have spilled Write my it drink. On a piece of paper. Oh. Um, so it can be read to me. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Relax! Tell me you love me. You should have bought your camera. Stop driving me mad. Soccer heroes drunk and shame. Because <laughs> I... Your love so bad. I need a soft voice to talk to me at night. Don't worry, baby. We won't fuss or fight. Listen, listen to my plea. Bring it on home to me. I need your love so bad. Baby, I need, I got to have your love. 
Finest team on God's earth. <laughs> okay, I get the picture. Go ahead. Well, I could have been a part of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, me and that Tony were both doing our final trials together. Both 16, both trying to be centre forward. See, so he had the dedication, but I had the skill. And then my mum, she, uh, she gave me this. It's the first thing I ever met that was better than football. And if she hadn't, you'd still be playing for the West Hams instead of Cambona? Well, I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> don't seem fair, really. Tony's 30, he's just made it, and already he's too old. That's why he drinks. So your mom, where is she now? She's dead. Mine too. Drag, isn't it? <whistles> Bloody hell! It's Sadie Prince! You guys want my autograph? No, 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 no. We want a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> do that kick that you do. The kick to the throat. Yeah, go we go, expect, expect the unexpected. unexpected. <laughs> and he kicked the geezer in his throat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to see first kick Wing Chun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Who, oh, me? Well, sure. It'll hurt. A lot. Well, some other time, maybe, hey? Call me back when you guys hit puberty. She was gonna hit me, man. There's something I really ought to tell you. You are? None of it. Not a damn thing. It's all bullshit. Everything's doubled. Sometimes in a movie I show up for just two days so they can shoot a few close-ups. <laughs> Jesus, if I try to kick that guy anywhere near his throat, I get a hernia you could ski through. Sadie, you are the bravest and quite possibly the stupidest woman I've ever met. Hey, I'm Yehuda's little girl. Joke is he ditches Yehuda and picks a name like Dennis. So what are we gonna do about these? This guy decides he wants to get in bed with you, what are you gonna do? Call for your stunt double to come for him out the window? Something you're not telling me, Sadie. Are you gay? I'm reasonably happy, yeah. Don't be cute. Well, why, what difference does it make? Because I want you to make love to me. Well, actually, that does make a difference, doesn't it? Right. Right. I must get home to me wife. Me too. We've all got to get home to your wife. Gentlemen, we shall play a game. Here are the rules. You tell me where Richard Corker is right now. Okay? Simple. You. We closed. Now close permanently, Dick Brain, till I hear what I want to hear. And who are you? My name's Prince, Dennis Prince. I'm looking for my daughter. Ah, Sadie. What? Sadie Prince. Yes, longy hair, tighty trousers that go I told you she was here. You never believe. A few words, huh? Ah, it's okay. Have enough for both of us. Man of pictures. Yes, of course. Rick, will you take my photograph? 
No. I want to remember this the way I remember it. Not the way it actually was. Meaning what? Well, I remember this was the first time. If I have a picture, it just remind me it was the last. Who says who it's the last? It says your father. It says the movies. It says you, if you really think about it. Well, anyway, it wouldn't be for you. It would be for me. Take my picture, Rick. You're not using the magic word. Take my portrait, Rick. Oh, well, you see, that moment was gone. That feeling of tenderness, that intimacy you want me to capture is just gone. Can't get it back. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll tell you what, buddy. Why don't you just lie there, and I'll refresh your imagination a little. That might be an idea. Yeah. Hang on a minute. What? Keep still. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh... <laughs> okay. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you're such a I know, I know. Come on, come on, come on. This is my best side. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> oh, no! Sure, sir. The light's been out for two hours. Did I ask you for details? No, sir. No, sir. Two hours? Would you like me to go in, Mr. Prince? Yes. No. Later. In the car. He's getting wet. That's his business. <laughs> uh, well, have you found a mobile? Right, well, um, look, it's a tire agent. Look, 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 my, my, my how about the hotel? Oh, oh Terry. Hang on. Hi. Hang on. I think she's here. Sadie, hey, Marjorie. Oh, she's here. 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 She's can you? Oh, it's this way now. Anyway, okay, um, right, thank you. that gives us. Um, yeah. seem... There is someone waving. There's someone waving. Is something happening? She's here. She is here. She's here. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a Sadie Prince on the premises. <laughs> we thought you weren't coming for a minute there. Yeah, well, you know how it is. Some days you just can't get out of bed. Sadie Prince. Um, Angel of Vengeance. Can I just say one thing? Um, please don't kick me in the ghoulies. <laughs> I'll try to restrain myself. You don't like a question? My producer is... Uh, <laughs> and I can't give you his home address. Can uh, you I... say ghoulies on a British television? Well, I can't. I can ask you lots of offensive questions about your personal life. Where are the negatives? Angel of Vengeance? What negatives? It's terribly violent, isn't it? <laughs> oh, have you seen them? I'm the fence I knew what you're talking about. Please leave! How do you know Angel is so violent? Mr. Corker, please may I have the negatives? But, uh, but also cool. Very cool. No. That's a negative. Now get out. You know, um, Wing Chun is very, very good for keeping your body in shape. Please don't do anything rash. It's a really great way to live your life. Well, okay, fine. You know, the style is just packing. Let's talk about it. Uh, Mr. Corker, you're a paparazzo photographer. That is to say, you are a low-life, scum-of-the-earth type of person. No disrespect. You spent the night with Miss Prince. It is therefore reasonable to assume that you took photographs of her that you intend to sell. It's a state of harmony in the soul. A sense of... Excuse me a minute. It's like a power far exceeding the sum of all the parts. 
It's Hello? Like a... Rick? Cambona, currently misbehaving up and down St. Martin's. And I've had a thought. I think our boy's a little bit chippy with his lot, a little bit gripey, don't you? It's Might be an idea state of if you engaged him in a bit of matey badinage, winkle it out of it. Lionel. I'd love to chat. I've got a very large man standing on my chest. I wish I had time for a search, right? Don't, that's not you think, me. I mean, it would be great. Hey, Cambona, Rick. You know, it makes sense. Oh, no, I, I, what I mean is if you want to be, you know, Buddhism, whatever it is, Mr. Corker, if you remember what became of the photographs you didn't take, the, uh, the side of please call Mr. Prince. Of it, which is just a product of these other things that you take on board, you know, this, with a meditation and... It's, 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 By the way, a lot of stuff goes on my way in, I couldn't help noticing that all the tires in your car were flat. A horrible nuisance for you. <laughs> Goodbye. You know, it's, it's, it's something to live by. It's, it's a code of ethics. It's, it's more... It's more than, you know, just the, the physical side of it. And for me, what were you doing in my room? Well, what is this, for God's sake? I'm trespassing in my own daughter's room? Yes, and you're trespassing in my goddamn life. I've got bruises on my arm again, and I wish you would get out of my room. You're getting hysterical. You want hysterical? I'm this close to hysterical, Daddy. Just like your damn idiot mother. May she rest in peace. Dennis, hi. I've, uh, I'll just... They from him? See, he appreciates me. He likes the way I sing. You start a singing career, Sadie, you start at the bottom of the heap and you tunnel down. You live and you die by your talent. Now what you do now, these movies, you don't need talent. You need momentum. And that is something I can always supply. Poor is no good, Sadie. Rich is better, I promise you. Now, your mother screwed up her life with singing, and I will not permit you to do the same. It's my life. I'll screw it up any way I want. Yeah, not while I'm around! Fish face, more bubbles, more shampoo. I'm just serving these gentlemen. What's that? Oi, I'm talking to you. I don't speak to people who call me oi. Ooh. Oi, since when you let Ponces in here, barman? Not Ponces, sir. Marine officers on leave. If I were you, I'd be careful, sir. Why? They're all bloody puffs in the Marines, aren't they? <laughs> I heard they're all shirtless. That's what I heard. I think you've got a bit of a problem. Easy, gentlemen. Well, I think you're a couple of losers drinking on your own. And I'm a rich nigger with two white girls. I think that's the problem. Hi, how you doing? My name's Richard, Rick. I'm a photojournalist, doing a piece for Esquire magazine on elite fighting forces. With you in a minute, Rick. Just have to sort this... Hold on, hang on, hang on. I tell you what, you've got fantastic bones. I beg your pardon? Your bones, they're really strong. I could get a front cover out of you. It's a hell of an image, you know, what we really mean is street light. Well, I can handle this. Shut up. You can't handle being vertical. 30 seconds out in the street, you get your face all over W.H. Smith for a month. What'd you say? Move. Move. 
suppose you think I'm going to thank you for that? No, yeah, not for a minute. You tosser. Look, Tom, I'm on an assignment, all right? You, you're my assignment, so how about it? You're kidding me. You think this sends you a picture? You're dreaming, mate. All you ever did, Rick, is dreamt you were a striker, but you were clapping it, and you know why? Because you're chicken. What's that? Tonight, why get out of your seat? Why not just sit there and take a roll of Tony Cambona getting his head kicked in? Isn't that what they want? Yeah, well, maybe that's not what I want. Maybe that's why you're a useless photographer, too. Scared to get stuck in. Killer instinct of a bowl of sponge fingers. All right, try me, Tony. God knows I'm in the mood. Come on, try me, you arrogant little fart. All right, then. Get in the car. Hello? Speaking. I'm sorry, I can't quite hear you. You'll have to whisper up a bit. Sadie Prince naked. Front or back? I mean, we're talking pubes here, or what? Bloody hell. Get them to me now. Unfinished business. <laughs> Oi, first to three. You wreck your suit. Don't worry. Buy another one. Choose your end. I'm at my end, you choose yours. I think we can safely say that's not a goal. Yes? Ah, oh, Piers, Lionel. Cross your legs and hold your front page, darling. I promised you and it was true. Someday your prince will come. So, you know it's by another one. Oh. Three! <gasps> he likes the way you sing, Sadie. He really likes it. So? It's a conversational gambit, so? Yeah, I like it. I've been working on it. You play a K for a dwarf. I think I've broken my leg. Which one? Both of them. Christ, I'm so unfit. You never trained, you lazy bugger. Yeah, well, I had other interests. 
Vicky Atchinson. No, I meant photography. I meant Vicky Atchinson. Oh, you're a joke. She really liked me. <laughs> she really liked a lot of people. Oh, come on, don't listen shocked. Victoria, for God's sake. I tell you, large quantities of London traffic pass through her on a regular basis. Really? Look, don't take this wrong, Rick, but you've got a couple of chapters in the Book of Life where you've got a few pages stuck together. This Sadie Prince, for instance. Yeah, careful, son. I don't like her. Look, school's the past, OK? But Sadie, if I'm very fortunate, might be a big piece of the future. I don't like her. You don't like her? No, you're getting the idea. But she needs taking care of. This is when you such an authority on women. Since I pulled Vicky Hutchison from right under your nose about you noticing the damn thing. Is this vehicle necessary? Of course not. That's why I got it. Hey, Rick. What? See you around? Yeah, listen, mate, thanks. He left all the advice. The picture. Tony Cambona at the wheel of his penis substitute. Sex without the mess, kid. You don't know what you're missing! for you. This isn't even the best one. Oh, please, spare me the one of these thief, you lying bastard liar. You lied to me. No, I didn't. I sent you the negatives. Oh, oh yeah, well then, so how did this get into the press, huh? I have no idea. Who did that? None of your damn business. But you've got to let me help you, Sadie. This has to stop. service are you offering me? I'm guaranteeing you permanent removal of the offending individual. Yeah, by what means? By means of money, Mr. Prince. I know who you are. Stay in the car. I gave the money to the gentleman. You wait till I get back in the car. The gentleman is who I think he is. You beat the crap out of him. As I figured, I'm paying you to get rid of you. I'll make sure you suffer before you dispose of yourself. I'm alone. I'm not. 
What is this? This is divorce, I'm afraid. What the hell are you talking about? I'm gonna sing, Daddy. In a club. Five nights a week, just like Mama. Oh, no, 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 no. You made her say this, you devious little prick. No, he didn't. You did. What? You wanted me stunted, didn't you? Something grown up you could hold in your hand. But I broke out of your fist, Daddy. Everything you did to scare me quiet loosened your grip. Telling me there was somebody under my bed. Taking pictures of me while I was asleep. Stealing pictures of me naked and selling them to the papers. Oh, say with me, Sadie, the world is so weird outside. Jesus Christ! What kind of father are you? I, I never did any of those things, Sadie. So here's the deal. You get to keep the Sadie Prince name and everything that goes with it. Rights, royalties, merchandising, the whole nine yards. Get somebody else to play Sadie. You keep telling me the goddamn show can run and run, so run with it. 20 grand so that I can eat and rent someplace until I'm earning. That's all I ask. That and my freedom. Have a little dignity, Dennis. Let her go. Get in the car. No, Dad. Get in the car, you miserable little bitch, before I drag you in by your hair! I will not! No! It's finished. No, it'll blub on Oprah Winfrey and do an interview with Hello magazine. Then it'll make another Sadie Prince movie and make a million. Good news is he has to make it without Sadie. It's a curious business, you know. Some people's appetite for self-promotion. Hmm? You know who it was? Sent me those snaps of said Miss Prince just sporting in her birthday suit, didn't you? Yeah, her father. No. She did. She did. <laughs> Are you sure? Quite sure. I can recognize a heavily camouflaged starlet when I see one. Isn't that the gear up? Miss Prince, is this star who you you? No, I am. You. Um, Sadie, can you take us a picture? Sadie! This way, hey, Sadie! What is it with you guys? Oh, I'm going to have a stroke. Bollocks. Let's get a cup of tea. Wanna go and get to weird? We go to Mackenzie's. Ooh, and a huge bowl of chips. Oh. Airport, please. Rick, don't read this the wrong way. I, I just need some time to get my head straight. Yeah, of course you do. I can understand that. You do? Oh, absolutely. I can't sing with a bent head. <laughs> are the most unlikely hero. Did I do something heroic? I must have missed it. Well, you took the initiative. You made it happen for me. Did I? I tell you what. 
You take a picture of us. You want a picture of you? No, a picture of us. Right now. Okay. This moment on film forever. Go and put it on the shelf. I'll show you how to set the timer. No, it's all right. I've done it before. Oh, Sadie, that was stupid. Not that unlikely a hero. You walked out of that ladies and thought, hey, he'll do. And hey, I did. What a piece of work. You took the pictures of yourself in bed. You took the negatives I sent you. You took them to Lionel, then you took your father to the cleaners. He used to hit me, Rick. That was true. So tell me your plans then, Sadie. I'm going back to the States. A friend of mine has a club in Vegas, and, uh, well, he offered me terms subject to my making myself available. Oh, did I forget to mention that? Well, you need a few surprises in your life. Not me personally. You particularly. It's lousy to be used, isn't it, Rick? Timing on what? Jumping? Yeah, what's the dough skin seats? Now, I'm not one to tell you I told you so, Rick, but uh, I told you so. Now, do you want me to stick around with you tonight? I mean, I'll be good for you, man. I can let you know where you went wrong, you know, with Vicky Atchison. And you got to learn to loosen up. We're closed. Therefore, you're not here. I noticed. When the lights are low 